So for the next few days, you're looking at my Comic-Con headquarters. I'm going to try and cover news as it drops or shortly thereafter uh, so we can discuss all the big stories and join in on the fun, even if we're not in San Diego. So comic book news is already starting to trickle in with a couple of reveals from who else? Warner Brothers and Marvel. Now, we're going to talk right now about the Warner Brothers reveal, and that's a tweet from Dan DiDio of a close-up look of the Batfleck costume, or more specifically, just the cape and cow. So let's throw that up here, uh, and you can get a really good look at this, and you can see a couple other uh, Batman cape and cows in the background. This is a kind of a presentation that Warner Brothers has been having at a couple of conventions at this point. I believe it was, it was at the last New York Comic Con uh, to really play up Batman, etc. Uh, but this is the first time, obviously, that Ben Affleck's cape and cowl have been added to the roster. Uh, you can see the short bat ears, which I think a lot of people uh, have commented on, myself included, and I think they really draw from Frank Miller's design for The Dark Knight Returns. And that's supposed to be an older Batman, a more mature Batman, and of course those are all words we're hearing from uh, the uh, as a description for what Ben Affleck will be playing, an older, more mature, experienced Batman. Uh, although in, in Hollywood, someone in their 40s is an older and experienced and mature Batman, where of course Frank Miller went for a much more advanced age, more Clint Eastwood, if you will. Now what I think is most interesting about this look uh, is that it almost seems a little Jokerish to me. I don't know if you get that uh, that feeling yourself, but that's what struck me about it. It's not just the opening for the mouth, which kind of ironically, all and on all the cape and cowls, it does look a little bit like a Joker smile, don't you think? So I think it's kind of interesting that Batman's cape and cowl would reflect his greatest villain. But what I also think stands out are these eyebrow eyebrow arches that have been put in there. It's like those fading Hollywood stars who used to draw on their own eyebrows, nowhere near where their eyebrows should go. That's kind of the effect they're putting here. And I think it's interesting, you know, I've been wondering how they're going to counteract Ben Affleck's softer features. I think he definitely has the softest features yet of anyone to play, the Cape Crusader. And it looks like they might be trying to counteract that by adding it. To, you can also see now that you look closer at it, some cheekbone work they've put in there. Uh, you know, just like you see uh, muscles built into costumes, uh, apparently you're going to have face muscles built into this one. Uh, and then also a furrowed brow. Uh, this Batman's always angry, even if he's happy, he doesn't have to worry about maintaining that appearance because this costume does it for him. So I think that's, uh, that's amusing. So I think perhaps what you might be seeing here are making up for the deficits uh, of Ben Affleck that he personally has to help him be more effective playing the character. Now, I'm rooting for Ben Affleck in this role. The only good thing about Runner Runner was that it was kind of a sneak peek of his Bruce Wayne. Uh, I think he could very effectively pull that off, but I still think the biggest hoop for him to jump through is going to be pulling off the Batman persona. That's very interesting because uh, that the hardest persona to pull off in the past has been Bruce Wayne. But I have a strong feeling that Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne is going to be the most memorable part of his performance. But I think this is a very interesting costume. Uh, I'm curious to see how it's going to look. And I think the evil nature of the eyebrows, the furrowed brow, um, you know, the bigger eye holes, by the way, the biggest we've, I think we've seen. I think are really, you know, pointing to a different type of Batman in addition to maybe what's going on behind the scenes. But I think on screen, uh, it's also a very different look. A little bit more, you know, the lines I think are blurred between classic hero and villain. And I guess at first that's how he'll appear to Superman, right? Uh, Henry Cavill, because I think he's going to get a beat down before they have a heart to heart. So I'm curious to what you think of this first reveal. Is this a good first reveal? And also the last thing I want to say is that uh, when I asked what it would take to win Comic-Con earlier this week, uh, I said that a photo op on stage of Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill, and Gal Gadot for the first time would be a huge win, a huge coup for Warner Brothers DC. But a number of you added they should be up there in their costumes. And I thought to myself, no way that's going to happen. It's too early. This movie's two years away, 2016. Uh, but now that I see this reveal of the cape and cowl, you might not see them on stage in costume, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did come on stage for a photo shoot and a picture of all three in costume was revealed. Because to see this much already, I think is very interesting indeed. It is Batman Day. It was Batman Day yesterday, but still, this is we're seeing a lot, a lot so far out in advance. So write your thoughts down below and continue to stay tuned for breaking news uh, and in-depth coverage of all, this, uh, all the big announcements coming out of San Diego Comic-Con.